<coughs> each committee and department head reports. Any questions, comments on the reports that you received on that? About the horizons meeting today, and they are they do have a res resource room set up in the rec center, uh -huh. the community center. Uh, they got some pamphlets, and they want to know if they can put some in the here. I said, talk to you, and they uh, want us to push it too. That there's the resources, people who don't know where all the programs can go get help. So somebody asked, there is help. Man from two to four. Excuse me, four to eight. Four to eight. Tuesday through Thursday. And it's a resource for people that don't know how to do something or want to know if there's what's available and what ain't. They've got supposed to be internet and all that. People know and can guide them. Not so much answer questions, but guide them to the place to get answers. And there's a pamphlet, and there's actually volunteers that work it during those hours. Cool. They've done a lot of work to get it to this point. I mean, there were meetings on a weekly basis. So. Anything else from the committees that you guys are on? No, I'm not Anything else to report? I have one question yeah. I wanted to ask on the library. They were talking about the key area where the funds were available that we said we'd be giving them. Is that money available? They, that was just a misunderstanding on how they get their capital. I see. There's a lot of <laughs> the fire board, we have worked on a 2080 agreement, and Adam has come up with the changes. One of the things uh, we will be charging, I think, 1% per month for those townships or that are behind their payments or don't make the payments on time. We've, got, we've had a few other changes, but we have a final uh, 2080 in front of us. trying to get a little bit of that sign here. I remind everybody again that the potato bake for the rec center is Thursday from 4.30 to 7. It's at the rec center. And I'd also tell you that when I spoke with her today, she said that she's really excited about all the new memberships that are coming. And like yesterday, they were so full of kids. They were with swimming and activities in the gym and they had hot dogs, the concession stand included hot dogs and rip beer floats and she said the activity is really up. Oh, yes, so, some special or just No, it's just they have open swimming and they had basketball and they had some kind of scooters in the gym and that people are going to be Yeah, it is. And Jim, what about Kids World? Do you have anything you want to Meeting last week and having trouble with the air system in there, or that's going to be bad. We're screwed up and we're burning out mortars and we're trying to get a mechanical engineer to come in and figure out what's wrong with it. So once we find out what's wrong with it, we'll make a recommendation. Hopefully the fire marshal will approve it and we need to bring more air into the system. As far as kids, it's January was bad. It was down. But they have a new uh, charging as far as minimum. Yeah. They're charging different oh, yeah. structure, and Molly's doing a fantastic job of it. Anything else? Anybody else have anything to report? Okay. Um, how about item six, public input on solid waste? Mm -hmm. Nothing new. Okay. Um, item seven, just the council forum. Anything <laughs> <laughs> Um, if there is no more to discuss, I would call for a motion for adjournment. So moved. There's second? No, I'd like to hear it. I'd call for a vote. Councilman Frederick? Yes. Hanson? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Muska? Yes. Ready? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you everybody for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you council members. <laughs>